Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now, one princess, I have never taught on a Disney princess and I really need to teach a tutorial on her. It is Pocahontas. So, just her face is a little interesting and I've never had the confidence to teach you guys how to draw her until I feel a little bit more comfortable today. So let's go ahead and give this a try. And I hope this helps anybody who wants to draw Pocahontas. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and make her head shape. So we make this arch, bring down the side. So you see we make the arch, curve this down. And then curve up her head this way. After that, what I'd like to do is go ahead and give her her eye lines. Now her eye lines are going to be going upwards, so we're going to go up this way. And then you're going to go ahead and give her her nose line, and it's going to go down this way. Then what you're going to do is I'm going to go from her chin going in, I'm going to bring down this part here, so round off her chin, go down, and then bring down her neck. And then, as weird as it may sound, I want to go ahead and give her her ear off to the side on her eye line. And then from her ear, I'm going to bring down her jawline going a little bit above where her chin is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and jump behind her ear, bring down the rest of her neck. So bring this down, go inwards and then straight down. So she does have a really thick neck and her chin should be going into her neck. She does have a really thick neck. So in case you're wondering, yes, she does have a thick neck. All right. After that, you're going to go ahead and you're going to bring down one side of her neck over here and then you're going to bring down the other side of her neck over here as well. So this part's going to smoop over, slope down, go up. And then it will be one side of her shoulder. And then this one's going to go down. It's going to go up and down on the other side of her shoulder. After that, we're just going to go ahead and make a mark right here for now. So I'm going to actually make circles. So this is going to be one shoulder going this way. And then the other shoulder going this way. From the shoulder, I'm going to make this line. We're going to curve down this way. And then I'm just going to go ahead and bring up the rest of her top onto her shoulder and then I'm going to bring this down and I'm actually just going to curve it right back into her other shoulder. So let's get a little closer. This is where it gets a little bit tricky just because I've always had trouble with her face so bear with me. I actually practiced this before I started to talk to you guys so I was able to do it here so let's try and do this again. <laughs> All right so let's start with this eye first. Pocahontas does not have a nose ridge, so that's what kind of throws me off just a little bit. I'm going to jump, all right, so we're going to make this our final guideline right here. All right, so I'm going to jump, and I'm going to make a really thick eyelash, so I make a really thick eyelash on top, and then I'm going to go underneath, and I'm going to curve the other eyelash at the bottom, and then I'm going to make a circle all the way to the edge. Now I'm going to jump over here and do the exact same thing where I get a little bit of space away. I'm going to curve up this eyelash, bring it around. She does not have that big of eyes, so don't try to go too crazy. So I'm going to make her eyes just that small, small eyelash. All right, and then her other eyelid is going to go down. So it curves downward just like we made this one. And I'm going to go ahead and make her pupil. So I'm just going to fill in her pupil and fill in her pupil here. She doesn't have shines in her eyes or anything in this particular scene. It's the end scene when she's saying goodbye to John Smith when she waves. And the, we will draw leaves. So this eyelash is super thick. She doesn't have separated, separated eyelashes either. This one's thick too and it goes outwards just a little bit to be a little bit separated from her pupil. Now after that, let's drop down to her nose. So we're going to go down just a little bit. And we're going to make one line here. 
it's off the way of the nose just a little bit we're going off to the side it does line up but then again we don't really have a nose ridge this line here and we're going to jump over here and make her nostril all right simple easy enough then we're going to go to her lips now i'm going to start right it's going to be somewhat close to her nose you're going to go and start up start off to the side just right here pretty close to the edge of her face bring this out just a little bit more we're going to bring out her face just a little bit more in a bit to give more shape but we're going to go up over make it a smile and then I'm gonna jump back I'm gonna make a little bit of a gap up so you see I go I make a point to the first top of her lip bring that and then connect and this top lip needs to be really thick and then I'm gonna go and close off so I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit and connect because she's smiling so her smiles right there and then it's gonna go out towards her cheek so bring down that bottom lip out square it down and then go back up and she does have like this is a little bit more arched upwards and she does show her smile so you want to keep in mind when you're coloring this, if you choose to color it, that these, this is her smile and those are her lips. There's distinction. All right, now let's go ahead and make her eyebrows. So I'm just, they're really thin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make one here and they go out and towards her face. And then this one will go down and off the side of her face. So this is just a little bit shaped to where it's a bit angular up here and then it's really thin towards the sides. And then the same over here, I'm just gonna make it thick and go off the side of her face. Now the thing about her face is that this part curves down. So we ultimately keep this shape and I'm just gonna draw the rest of her eyebrow off the side of her head. And then this part will go out just a little bit so it's a little bit angular going outwards and then it curves. So we're gonna bring this down just a little bit more towards her lips, make it more angular. And then this part is gonna keep going inwards. And then this part from her ear is her jawline. It's gonna go up and towards her chin. And then this is gonna go out towards her ear, make her earlobe, it's a little bit more angular, so make it more pointy, up, off, and then down. And then I'm gonna jump inside of her ear and go and bring it up and down. So after that, we're gonna go ahead and make this part of her hair will go into her face. Now the other part is that it's going to go ahead and go down across her face right here. So that part's going to go up, come to more of an angle right here, and go into her neck all the way like in the middle of her neck. After that, this part, there's this part right here. And then this part's all the whooshiness, so it's gonna go up. And I'm just gonna go ahead and bring that back down into her hair. So after this, it's gonna go up. And it goes, it goes around. And then this part, like it's whooshing over itself. I mean, it's the wind. It's the colors of the wind. So this one goes up and over. And then there's another part that's going out underneath and it's gonna go out. We're gonna go all the way out, like it's curving in right here. Round off this, bring it down, and that's one section, so it's curving in towards itself. So it, it's really similar to ribbons, almost. And then there's another part that's gonna go 
out, curve downwards, and I'm gonna go underneath this section of hair, bring down this one, and then it's gonna go into her head again. And then this part is gonna go around and down. It's gonna go around and down and into her arm. So she has a whole lot of hair and it's doing all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to jump down here first and begin here where a section's going down and this way. I'm going to go on top of that. Bring this section going down. And then this section's going to go down and up. And this one's going to go into that big section. So this is one big section here. <laughs> so it's just a whole lot of hair. And then I'm going to bring down this section. So it's going up. I'm going to have to align this for you to show what's going on exactly with her hair. Since everything is in the wind, we have to draw her whole top in the wind as well. So we're going to start from here. Let's start with her necklace first. I'm going to make a little box right here. I'm going to jump off to the side here, make another little box. And then I'm going to make a connection in the middle of these two boxes I just made off the side of her neck. And I'm going to go down, give it to a point. Same over here, bring this down and make it to a point and then make the dagger we can't see the dagger because it's, it's going to be covered up but we can make the indention of the dagger there and we just make a little section here same as well right here make a little section right here make a little section all right now let's go ahead and fill in her arms so I'm just gonna go from her shoulder and we're, we're only gonna do from her midriff up. So I'm gonna bring down this side of her arm here. So I make a big wide oval and then jump down to here and make a big wide oval. So ultimately it'll be going down this here, bring down this side here. All right, so then I'm gonna bring out her chest. I'm gonna go out and in. And then the, on this side as well, I'm going to go out and in. And then it's just going to go in, in, and then bring down this side, and then bring down this side of her midriff. Now what you're going to do is this part up here is going to go make an angular curve it's gonna go down and then up and it's going to have a little bit of another angular curve right here and then this part is gonna go in go down and go up into that part we just went ahead and made so we curve it like this so it's very angular right now and then this part is gonna go in up make a part here and these are the frills of her shirt so we're gonna make a section here for her frills and these are the frills as well so I'm gonna jump down here make these frills and go all the way up and then underneath this part because it's blowing in the wind that's what's going on it's going to make the frills go up and down and in this way so it's connecting almost to these frills right here on her arm so I'm gonna make the breaks within the frills to give that kind of indention that they are frill and then I'm gonna make a couple of lines inside as well uh, as her underneath her bodice like the part that's flapping so let's make her shoulders a little bit more angular. So this part still down, goes out, and then this part goes down. Round it off. And 
And then we have to do the tattoo on her arm. So let's go ahead and erase what we have right there. So we're gonna bring down her arm. She has really big shoulders and then bring down the, this part of her arm. And then what you're going to do at the top of this part of her shoulder, you're gonna curve in towards her chest. We're gonna make the top of her tattoo and then I'm gonna start all the way down towards the middle of her arm. Go up, down, up. And they're super skinny. And they're all the same length. So I'm gonna go down, up, up. So there's her tattoo. Nothing too complicated. Now I'm gonna shape up her arm over here. Her chest is still overlapping her arm. And then I'm gonna bring out this side of her arm and then bring down her shoulder. And we're just gonna leave it there for right now. Let's do a couple of little tutorials on the leaves. So the leaves are all going around her, completely around her and swishing through her hair. So if you wanna draw the leaves on top of her hair, you can, if you don't, you don't have to. So the leaves are pretty simple. I always like to make the middle of the leaf first, which is the stem. And then I like to go out, kind of like a heart, where you go out, make a heart, and then you're just gonna make the other side, and then the stem. These leaves are pretty simple, and all they really have are like the three leaf one, and then the little itty baby one, so I'll make the stem again. And then I'll make the other side of the leaf. So there's another little leaf, and they have them everywhere. So the other kind of leaf that they have, I still make the middle of my leaf and I make more pointy edges round that around and there we go there's the other leaf and the thing is if you do color it just keep in mind that they're all the same color it's just that each side is a darker color of itself so we have like a dark orange and then a light orange so I'm gonna make another leaf over here so you guys can see and there's another leaf all right, I'm gonna go ahead and line this and add some ink to it so it kind of makes a little bit more sense. Alrighty then, so there is a quick fun way on how to draw Pocahontas. I know it's taken me a long time, but I felt I had a little bit of confidence in drawing her face because it's super complicated. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give Pocahontas a try and doodling her, and I hope you all have a most wonderful day. Bye!